One of Vivint Smart Home's claims were that, you know, these were uh, sort of rogue employees. No, not when there is a pattern of this conduct. One of the biggest names in Utah business, Vivint, goes on trial Monday in North Carolina in a case involving another security company that accuses Vivint of using deceptive sales tactics to poach their customers. Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle has more on what's at stake. CPI Security is a major home monitoring company in the southeastern United States, which makes it a rival to the Provo-based Vivint Smart Home. In a trial that begins Monday in CPI's hometown of Charlotte, CPI will try to prove Vivint sales staff deceived CPI customers. At stake, perhaps $50 million. CPI's case is pretty well summarized in this pre-trial deposition. The 60-something-year-old South Carolina woman testified that in June 2020, a salesman knocked on her door and said, I'm with Vivint, and Vivint is buying out CPI, and you will no longer have CPI for your security company. The customer got scared and signed with Vivint, she testified. When she discovered that CPI was still in business and tried to cancel Vivint, Vivint wanted two or three thousand dollars. Eventually, CPI helped her cancel the Vivint contract. The federal jury may hear testimony from up to 46 other CPI customers with similar stories. And this is especially troubling because, of course, uh, these consumers, these families were seeking security support, so they already were feeling vulnerable. Deborah Gerhart teaches business law at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. She reviewed the lawsuit's filings for Fox 13. What does CPI have to show to the jury? CPI has to show that the defendants made false statements of fact that influenced consumers and caused them to make purchases of the competitor's product. A Vivint spokesperson declined to comment. In court filings, the company has denied any deceitful practices and said the CPI customers decided to switch to a superior service in Vivint. Other recordings from the lawsuit describe Vivint executives receiving complaints about sales staff. Some were fired, but later rehired. One of Vivint Smart Home's claims were that, you know, these were uh, sort of rogue employees, not necessarily acting with authorization from headquarters. Is that a sufficient defense for Vivint Smart Home? No, not when there is a pattern of this conduct. It is reported to them and the conduct continues. CPI is seeking at least $20 million in compensatory damages and at least $30 million more in punitive damages, according to court records. If all this sounds familiar to you, it's because in November, we told you how another home security company, ADT, has sued Vivint and has video of a Vivint salesperson saying things like what's alleged in the CPI case. Some of the lawyers representing CPI also represent ADT. In the newsroom, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah. The CPI versus Vivint trial is expected to last two weeks. ADT's lawsuit is scheduled for trial about a year from now.